Okay, tonight we are going to work on a little project that I did with with students in my class and I was thinking, I actually had um, in my mind I was thinking of Egyptian papyrus. Papyrus, I think so anyway so like Egyptian writing and I thought well how can we make that into sort of a fun project without um, taking over like Egyptian style and stuff like that so what I did is cultural appropriation. yeah cultural appropriation or whatever so what I do is I call this one today's story and it's kind of fun because you can just take an in any day and I want you to create a picture of that day so I'm going to show you this this is so originally I did it on this sort of fabric stuff with my students and yeah it's kind of goofy little um drawings um I'm going to try and describe this day to you um, that I did years ago. So in this day, I woke up and it was sunny and I had my chai and then I drove to the um, Nexon building. I have it as a triangle because it's a triangular building. I okay. used to work there. Did you? So did I. Oh, <laughs> I love that building. Anyway, so then I from there, I walked to the art show at and this is my symbol for the watermark tower because that's where I had the art show and then I worked in my sketchbook for a while while I sat at the show and then I walked back to the um I worked there when it was the Nova building oh no I worked oh. there when I worked for Nexon <laughs> oh did you okay there you go so then I walked back to the Nexon building and I drove then I drove and I, I can't remember what this is what these lines are for but it means I went to Cornerstone, which is um, a, a, a charity that I was working on. And there I did a doodle. And I would talk to some of the kids. The kids were helping me paint and things like that. And then I ate something. And then I did some more doodling while listening to music. And then I drove, and I think I drove to another art thing. And I worked on my sketchbook. And I was hoping to get money, but I didn't sell anything. So I got a sad face there. <laughs> and then I drove home where I played a game on the Xbox. And then I pulled some stuff together for the next day and looked at my sketchbook. And then I cuddled my cat, Jack. And then I played on my iPad before I went to bed and fell asleep. When I fell asleep, I dreamt about art and sketchbooks and money and being happy and painting and vacuuming. The end. I got to get her out for <laughs> so, I was going to say, you remember your day pretty well. I can't remember what I did three hours ago. <laughs> well, and like I did that when I was probably the next day and I did mm. this I said okay I'm going to do yesterday because that was an easy day for me to remember and you know embellish a little bit but you know it's just sort of and it's funny because this is like you know probably three years ago maybe four and I can still by the pictures pretty much figure it out I just don't know what that is I can't remember what that is looks but, like wind chimes yeah like I don't know what it signified I don't know. So anyway, you ate three chocolate bars. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I want to eat three so. chocolate bars. <laughs> so three, anyway, three, three vertical buildings. What's what's between the car and the and the three lines? Hey, that's Leslie's voice. Where did so you come the, from? Here is me going well, to the next. The three, the, the three lines. Oh, so this so is me leaving the next <laughs> building and driving to Cornerstone. So I don't know if I stopped somewhere to get Did something you or stop somewhere. I don't remember. Stop. So it's kind of a weird or picture. I don't know. We remember something three. Yeah. That's fun. Um, anyway, so anyway, it's just kind of a fun way to depict uh, a day. So I was just doing it, you know, just thinking, well, that's kind of a fun thing to do. So I started one today in my sketchbook at work. And so I've really only got that far and I wasn't doing today I was doing Saturday so anyway I've well, started 
Is that coffee and then French fries? No, it would be, that would be my chai because I always have chai in the morning. And then underneath that, it does look like a box of French fries, but it's actually my boxes with my paintings in them because <laughs> I packed up my paintings and drove to the Leighton Center for the clothesline sale. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was going to say packs of cigarettes. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that won't be me either. <laughs> So anyway, I don't know if you want to do that. All I did was I drew four lines in my sketchbook, four little parallel lines in my sketchbook. And then really I'm just starting at the top and going up and down and down each line. Um, I don't know if that's how they actually do it in Egypt, but uh, that's how the I did scrolls, it. Right? The, uh, not the pirates, but the scrolls. How, how wide did you make your columns? I made them an inch. Just an inch. Okay. I'm going to make them wider because you're going to stretch my ability to make stick figures look interesting. <laughs> what did you see? I have stick figures in mine. Yeah, but everything I'm going to do is stick figures. I have no <laughs> visual talent. Yeah, I don't spend that much time with people, so I only have uh, a few stick, stick cars, figures. stick mountains, stick roads. You name <laughs> it. Okay, so I left my my pencil crayons at at work, so I I'm, I'm delving into my kids' pencil crayons. Do you think I have a few? I used to use these in my art classes. So there's like a billion pencil crayons in here and they're all like the Crayola. Yeah, these are the backup crayons. Yeah. I'm actually having a garage sale on Saturday and I'm wondering if I should just sell a bunch of them. <laughs> okay. Hey, Bill, did you want to come over and change the view? Oh, I was hoping I could. I thought you might want to. So I haven't been here the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Last, last week I did a, a volunteer stint for, at a casino. Casino and I had the disgusting late night shift. Ugh. So I tried to take a nap, but didn't go very well. And I've been sort of feeling jet lag a good part of the week. I'm getting back to normal now. That's good. What was the yeah. charity for? Um, a friend of mine does underwater, or her daughter does underwater hockey. Okay. And we've done it once before. And the shift was supposed to be 11 to 2.33. And it turned out it started at midnight. So. Oh, that's horrible. I, I left at 3.22 and I'm too damned old for that now. Yeah. You know, I, that's the one but thing I don't charity for is uh, those things, those casinos i i used to do them in elementary school times it's just been a while anyway and i did day shifts in the past but yeah anyway so when spencer was in town we painted some bird houses so oh, i nice. added yeah. i, I sent them house. i sent them to karen I and, sent oh picture. you did good I sent a picture and then here's there. brooks and mine brooke and spencer painted together i started reworking my roof because I didn't like what I had done mm -hmm. and then I I did your little origami thing how did that so turn I, out good I watched it yesterday and I built it last night like I made those dozen little thingamadoos the one yep. question I have is when you're folding I had used because I, I was out of origami paper mm -hmm. and I had some note paper like a from a notepad that was a good thinness, you know, not not too hard to fold. And it has snow on one side, little, it's a Snoopy thing, it's a Peanuts thing. So there's, you know, Charlie Brown and Lucy and yeah. Linus and whoever in the corners. And I kind of thought they'd end up on the outside somehow. <laughs> I got one panel that's light blue with snowflakes. Oh, yeah. How do you know which way to fold them so you get color on the outside so you know what you're getting? Because I just yeah. got white. Uh, I would have to um, take a look at the fold. So it's I can... symmetrical. You just bend the, you, you just look at them as you bend the corners. Yeah. But it's, well, it's sort of a. One way you do it when you're finished with your little turtle. The proper side that's going to turn on in the outside turned out for mine to almost always be 
the white side, the back side of the paper. And I yeah. thought it would have been more fun if I had had some more blue on the other sides. That's right. And I, I think every time I was folding it, I kept trying to figure it out, thinking about it to see what I'd get. Yeah. And then when I assembled it, I was <laughs> kind of disappointed. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't want to take it apart because it was kind of interesting trying to get all those little tabs in there. Yeah. I'm thinking that um, to get the, the, if you have a pattern, to get the pattern on the outside, you have to have it, when you start your folds, you have to have it facing down. So is it in the, in the, it's on the mountain side rather than the valley side? Well, when you person. start, sorry, I'm going to show this, um, even though it's not to part of tonight. When you do this, so you have the, the pattern down, I think. I think that's how you want to do it. I'm just okay. going to hold this really quickly and see if it works out the way I think it's supposed to work out. I believe all your sort of structured pieces are on this side. You know, after you do 20 of these, look how easy it is for me to do this. I totally remember the whole thing. I'm doing it really messy just because I'm trying to get it done quickly. So that's okay. Get in there. Yeah, you want the when you start your folding, you want your color against the the uh, table and the white facing you. The inside okay. faces you for all your folds. Okay. Okay. And you know, it's actually nicer to do this with paper that isn't origami paper. This is actually origami paper that I have right here and it's very thin. And although you can do it, it is a little bit nicer with a thicker paper, I find. It gives yeah, that a little bit more stability. So anyway. And, you know, if I had used like Astro Brights or something, then I would have had color on both sides, but because I just had one side that was colored. Yeah. It was kind of disappointing and I did briefly think about using wrapping paper because I thought that sounded fun too. Yeah. Where you could maybe alternate between white and printed. Yeah, you could, you could. So on today's, is everybody doing today? Nope. Nope. My life is far too boring to do that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do yesterday's. My today was pretty boring too. Oh, wow. Mine, I think, is going to look a lot of the same because I was hiding up in the backyard and planting things. And we'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to, like, I don't know if I can make mine go for, like, I'm almost through my whole day. Yeah, whole busy weekend. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to do one day. So I don't know if I'll make it through the four, but I, you know, even if you got three, the, the trick is to try and fill the full columns. Now, whether I get to that fourth one is irrelevant. If I can get three, then that would be worthwhile too, but I'm already partway through the day. Oh, you know what? I'll do this. I will. draw a weird little thing so i did these little separation lines i don't know i just maybe i grabbed the wrong pen this one's not working very well oh i guess that one's done Yay. and you and you make them whatever depth you want or do they yeah i sort of changed them as i i felt like if they were all the same they would be kind of boring so i kind of started to change them a little bit so that they were at different spots or depending on what the picture I wanted to put in there was. So I'm gonna do,
Oops, I'm missing parts. Playing from Fire Tablet. Sorry, my Alexa is kind of possessed. Is she? She, she just, just wanted to be part of it. She it. just hops on every now and again and tells me that she's playing from my Fire Tablet, even when I'm not using my Fire Tablet. <laughs> of course. So you know that after we do this, I'm going to get everybody to tell us their stories. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to do it quickly so I can get through it. <laughs> <laughs> get through the pain of presenting. Okay. I don't mind presenting. I just want people to sort of understand what the heck I think I did. Let's see what did I do with my car? Oh, I did it very differently in the other one. This one I'm I'm doing sideways with the car, which is harder for me to draw because it's it's not pretty. Mm -hmm. I don't like this pen That's either. Understood. Oh well. I keep switching pens because hopefully I'll find a good one eventually. There's a better one. And you know what? I, my, my drawing is pretty messy because I'm just, it's just a, like a little doodle sketch. And then I'll, you know, we can color it in. home and I so I don't know if you see this pen that I'm using this is a micron pen and people really like them for doodling but they drive me crazy because I must press too hard because the nib starts to go sideways on me so I don't know oh, I don't think it's gonna focus on it this one is my favorite, which is the Uniball micro needle. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. That's what I like. But as I'm using this, because I got to use it up, right? But I, I'm looking at the nib and it, it's kind of bent. And so when I try and sometimes when I try and it just moves, like I try and bend it the right mm -hmm. way and it, it moves on me. That's why I hate doing like then doodles with it because it's very imprecise because it's bent. Boy, these are probably really boring videos to watch because <laughs> well, I, I mean, my story is going to be equally boring. Yeah. I'm feeling I'm feeling the pressure of time. 
<laughs> I'm feeling the pressure of I'm on my second line and I'm almost done. It's like I'm almost done for the evening. I actually wrote out the panels in advance. So That's a I good idea. What, I knew what my panels were supposed to be. Although you'd never know what these are. You're like such an engineer, Spencer. <laughs> A bean counter. Yeah, you just like pre-plan everything. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't pre-plan anything. Once she told us what we were doing, I just wrote down my, my panels on a post-it Yeah, note. you so pre-planned. So I knew so I knew what I was drawing. <laughs> I'm trying to make it at least legible. So when I share, you know, it'll it'll make sense. I, I'm pretty sure it won't at this point, but it is what it is. How does one draw a snowflake? You know what? I would do this. Draw an yeah, asterisk. That's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, I'm on my third line. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm going to make it work. How do I embellish this? Sometimes it's hard to figure out the picture to something you want to say. Yeah, whatever I just drew here is horrible. And uh, it's not. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know if I'll be able to describe it. I might have to. Um, I remember when I was a little girl and I wrote a note and the spelling and everything was so bad in the note that my mom had to write <laughs> what I meant. And I think I probably did it for my kids too. I did it quite often if they did a picture and I had no idea what it was and I got them to describe it and I'd write down what the picture was. Yeah. I'm going to have to embellish what that is. It's just so funny. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh laugh me out of washington state <laughs> well 
Well, I mean, you could do the one tonight and then you guys could do a nicer one later. <laughs> and we can laugh about that next week. Yep. This is as good as mine is gonna get. <laughs> that's, that's, there, there is no doubt about that. Hey, Bill. Yeah. Don't break things. Well, it's your stuff, it's okay. okay. On Saturday, did we just, did we watch a show before we went to bed or when we came home? I can't remember, did, or did we just go to bed? You're so full. I think we watched the show. Okay, good, because that'll add to my day. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> it's going to be a short one today. Well, you know, sometimes it's just fun to sort of laugh at ourselves, right? You know what? I can always finish up the day with the end and make that a really big square. The last 14 squares. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's so funny. My my daughter has a friend over and they're gonna make pizza tonight. <laughs> and they're just starting now. And I'm like, did you buy pre-made pizza dough? No. Nope. So I don't know if they realize how long it takes to half an hour. Let it rise. Half an hour. How does it take half an hour? That's what she said. Oh my gosh. Oh. So oh, they might be eating the pizza by themselves. <laughs> I don't know if I want any. So you don't have to color this whole thing or render this whole thing. I'm just going to do some portions of mine just to sort of make it a bit better. or understandable, I guess. Oh, mine's only gonna be three columns long, because I'm- was mine. It's only three. I couldn't, I couldn't get a, there's just not enough happened that day. <laughs> well, thank you for the laughs today, Karen. Just Why? watching what I'm doing is hysterical. <laughs> yeah, well.
How's everybody doing? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Those the chair scraping upstairs. Um, I gotta figure out how to make my uh, my box of paintings not look like fries. <laughs> Well. <laughs> well, at least you're having fun with your day. Well, the nice thing about abstract art is you can have zero talent and throw paint on a on a piece of paper and swirl it around and say, "Hey, it came out okay." But when you actually make me draw stuff. <laughs> I, I look like a three-year-old with no talent no well you should see mine mine are horrible because you know to me like i'm just doing goofy little drawings here so they don't really matter to that much to me so Elizabeth's laughing too, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just realized I had I have my events mixed up. Uh oh. Oh well. That's okay. We won't believe we'll we'll believe you that it was all as you as yeah. you wrote it. That's how we start started to play out. Yeah. <laughs> uh I can't wait to see everybody's day. I'm sort of coloring as fast as I can because I'm kind of excited to see what you did. Especially when you're laughing, right? It makes me like, oh. Okay, how are you guys doing? How are we doing on time? Oh, we got it's oh. seven forty. We have lots of time.
Too bad I don't have a fireplace. Got making good fire starter tonight. No, you're not. <laughs> I gotta say, I started this at work. So this is my work sketchbook that I just leave at work so that I actually have something to do when they make me have a lunch. Okay. I think I've done good enough coloring. It's not, it's not, beautiful but um it's a start anyway so i'm going to share with you guys my uh my day on saturday okay so i'm going to bring it up a little bit higher let's see if i can get a my crayons go i'm just going to put a couple of boxes up here and see if i can get it a little bit closer to the camera okay so here's my day. Um, so I woke up and it was kind of cloudy, but a little bit sunny. Of course I had my chai, cause that's what I have in the morning. I packed up my French fries. No, okay, I packed up my artwork in my boxes. And then I drove in my little car to the Leighton Center for the clothesline sale. We set up our tent, that's me and Bill, for my artwork, which I had framed artwork there. I sold lots of my little focus bits, which is a, a deck of cards that I created a couple of years ago, but it did rain, which is good because it makes the grass green. But while I was there, I worked on my tatting because my grandmother taught me to tat many years ago. So I was tatting while I was sitting there. Then we took down the tent, drove home, drove home, sped home, sped home packed up my easel and art supplies, so I could go to a charity and paint live. At the charity, people watched me paint and while they drank their wine and I, they gave us a nice dinner, which we ate. And then they had a live auction where they were bidding things. Unfortunately, my paintings didn't make it into the live auction. I was part of the silent auction. So they had people bidding on trips and all sorts of things and money's flying all around the room. But I got no bids on my two paintings that I created that evening. So I was kind of sad and embarrassed. <laughs> so this is what I have a hard time. So I snuck out like a dog with my tail between my legs with my two paintings. <laughs> I drove home where Bill and I relaxed and watched a TV show. Then I feel, uh, so then we went to, to bed and I dreamt about nothing. I was oblivious to anything in the world because I was so tired. The end. <laughs> Oh, that was my day on Saturday. Oh. Yeah, I, I was really struggling with the dog between <laughs> the tail between the legs. I was like, how do I show that, that we basically got no bid? So I grabbed my paintings and got the heck out of there before anybody. I was so embarrassed. Anyway, so that's what happens when you paint a charity and, you know, people aren't always into abstract art and you have a timeline and so oh well anyway anybody right, else ready i'm ready to share okay just a bit i'm gonna get the you guys ready to laugh bill can you change the camera yes dear what are you doing are you stretching on the floor there yes yeah, someday i'll teach you how to be technologically inclined okay see this little red thing that says stop share Ta-da! all right all okay, right. Spencer, we'll see your can, day. You guys, can you guys see this? Yeah. All right. So this is on my way to Calgary. So I got up in the morning. I stayed at the hotel. I'm, I'm waking up. And then I'm driving towards Calgary where I'm stuck on Highway 1 in construction traffic. Oh, lovely. And then I stopped at Yoho Lake in Emerald National Park. And I walked around the lake. And then I sat relaxing. And it started raining on me at the lake. But I enjoyed that. And then I walked more around the lake and it was snow on the ground. So I, it looks like it's snowing, but it's not. Then when I got to the end of the lake, I, uh, I saw a couple of loons in the water that were nesting and a whole bunch of British people came up. That's supposed to be a US flag and a British flag. Okay. People came up to me and asked me about it. So I got to explain to them about loons. 
And there I got to spend a lot of time looking at the loons on the water and their nest. And then I was leaving Emerald Lake in Yoho Park. And that's me going towards Calgary. Yeah. And I stopped at Canmore, got myself a Slurpee. And then <laughs> I came into Cowtown. I don't know if you call it Calgary Cowtown, but I did in my depiction. This is the plane and that's the downtown. And that's where Leslie lives. Oh, nice. And I got in and I saw the family and the dog and the three of them in their house in my car. And then we had pizza. And then I went to bed. Awesome. That's so cool. That's my day. <laughs> I love it. That's great. <laughs> now, my if I if I had depicted my normal day-to-day -day life, it would have been like one frame, just dull. But <laughs> no, you would have woken up and had your coffee or whatever you have in the morning. <laughs> Well, All right, Wonder, anybody Woman, else? Wonder Woman pancakes. Oh, oh those were fun. That Spencer fun. stopped at a, a consignment junk shop. type junk shop, vintage sort of shop on the way, bought a pancake maker that had the impression of Wonder Woman logo on the pancakes. And it sort of set up more like a waffle maker. So you poured your stuff in one side, closed it, cooked, flipped it, opened this side, poured your batter in this side and you then picked this one out of this side. So you were sort of constantly making them and they oh. made quite fat pancakes, a pair of them, good sized pancakes. So we had a pancake feast. It was really fun. That's awesome. So, yeah, it was really fun. You know, when I was moving my daughter into her new place, her boyfriend has a Star Wars pancake maker. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> That's not as good as a Wonder Woman pancake maker. Yeah. Well, I All told right. Spencer that he would need to make those for his coworkers sometime because I guess it was a lot of fun. That's so I'll show you what so far if you want to look yeah. at what I've got. So this is today, so it's not done. And it's okay. all in pencils. So Oh, yes, of course you're going to do it in pencil so that it's, oh, my God, look at your so, figures are so, so good. There's my coffee in my, I have this silly llama mug. So I always start off the day with my coffee. And then in the morning, one of the things that's happening is Colin got his new car. So that's our dog shaking because he bought a Corvette and it makes a lot of noise when you start it. And the dog hates it and goes and runs and hides under chairs or behind the toilet or whatever. So I'm, I had to comfort our shaking, panting dog. And then I sat down behind the computer for a while and checked my email. And I farted about an hour away doing email and Facebook. Talked to my stepmom for about half an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and then I folded some went and emptied the, the washing machine and I, there I'm hanging up some wet clothes and then I had an apple because I realized I hadn't had breakfast yet and then I made myself an omelet so that's a pan and some eggs yeah. <laughs> and then Colin and I went and walked the dog he came home for for a lunch and we walked the dog mm -hmm. let's see if I can do this where the heck am I so then I headed outside and this is a very strange image we have a table in the backyard that I use in the winter for bird slash squirrel feeding. And the rain had loosened all these little seeds that were shells that were stuck in an under layer of the table. So I turned the table on its side and was shaking out all the seeds and sweeping them up. Mm -hmm. There's a bucket of a bunch of the crap that I swept up. And then I planted some more of my containers, some of the last plants that I still hadn't planted. And then I came in to wash some dishes. So that's a, a bowl full of bubbles with a cloth. Mm -hmm. And while I was doing that, there's a plus sign. I sneezed and I peed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? You know, like, I don't understand. It's not fair. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, anyway strange but true so where's my so then I did more sweeping on the patio because there's so much shit from all the rain yeah. and then I rolled the top of the bird bath over to another area because it's this really big honk and heavy bird bath and yeah. I wanted to move it and then Colin helped me put the top 
on the bird bath. Yeah. And then I picked up dog shit. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad you drew that. That's awesome. <laughs> well, look at she's planting stuff. And then I planted some more stuff, and then that's as far as I've got. I want to. I want to see the frame where you're depicting us having this class tonight. <laughs> I've, I've got <laughs> So, hilarious. I still have to put away some things. I cut apart something on that table. I prepared dinner, showered, went to Canadian Tire, logged on to Zoom and had some wine. So I'm not oh done yet. You've had a full day. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay. Elizabeth, have you got anything you want to show? I, I have a bit here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. Ooh. Another good wow. argument. Uh, looks okay there now I can see myself better so I got up and opened my curtains and looked out at the beautiful dark rainy day yeah this was for yesterday okay and then I laid in bed and what looked at Facebook on my phone for about half an hour <laughs> I got up and took a shower then I did some laundry yeah and uh, I cleaned my kitchen. See how it's sparkling? Oh, it's so sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> I always clean my kitchen in the morning because after supper at night, I'm just too tired. Dishes are waiting until morning. Yep, I do the same thing. Yeah. And then I read my scriptures because I do that every morning. And then I, oh, I ordered flash food on my phone. <laughs> And then I went to the grocery store. See, oh, I is, like your drive. This is how you cheat and fill up a whole bunch of space. <laughs> I, I kind of did that on this, one old, on this old one I did. Yeah, that's great. I'll have to remember that. And then uh, I had to load my groceries in the pouring, pouring rain. And I actually repeat four times because I did flash food. So I went to four different grocery stores. Oh my goodness. And it rained like crazy oh, yesterday too. Oh man, I was Good drenched by the time I was done. So here I am bringing my groceries in, still in the pouring rain. And then I was really tired. So I sat down and watched Netflix mm -hmm. in my recliner for a while. And then I, I had a Zoom meeting. See, I got mixed up. The Zoom meeting was actually before the shopping. But anyways, right. I had a Zoom meeting. So I did that. And then I worked on my art. I'm uh, painting, I'm doing some abstracts. So there's me abstracting. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, what was that one again? Oh, that's my dinner. Oh, okay. I had chicken oh, oh. cutlet and rice and salad. <laughs> and then I listened to some podcasts on Alexa. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I worked on my artwork some more. Rust my tea. Oh. <laughs> and then I went to bed and had mm -hmm. sweet dreams. Hey, the end. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. You guys are awesome. I can't believe you did really such fun. a good job. So a boring fun. day, but yeah. that's those are that's a typical day for me. But you know what, that it's kind of fun to sort of depict it that way. And even if it is just a, you know, a normal day like that, it's, it's kind of fun to sort of make fun of it or, or yeah. show it that way. Yeah. 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 That's really fun. I, I love the, and I think my favorite part is Leslie sneezing. sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> and peeing her pants. Yeah. Like, I so couldn't relate to that. It's like, this is not right. <laughs> once a week and it drives me crazy me, 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 me. doing stuff and I know I should go to the bathroom and then I avoid going to the bathroom and sure as shoot and I sneeze and it's like <laughs> I'm so dumb <laughs> Jody were you able to do one no no Sorry. she came it, in too I, late yeah and I'm way too busy yeah I got a lot going on I have house guests not just b, &B guests but house guests so mm. yeah so Jordy runs a B&B &B and had, I guess you have house guests too, so. Yeah, All it's right, Donna well. Tanuki, Karen. Oh, nice. Oh, with their friends from Cambridge. Very nice. 
That's awesome. All right. Well, you guys, that was really fun. Go ahead and finish them up if you're going to color them or, or whatever. And I don't know if I'll work on mine anymore. <laughs> I might have to do something. This is page is very boring looking, but uh, yeah. Sunday. There's Sunday. I, well, it was, well, it was interesting trying to draw that many pictures with that kind of time limit. Yeah. yeah, you know, that was it was it, I found it quite challenging because I I tend to be quite slow with my art, you know. Well, you so. did really good. Like, I mean, you got your hand holding your phone. And <laughs> I was like, holy smokes. <laughs> Darren, you could do an action figure of you cleaning out the litter box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even put that on here. <laughs> she did that twice. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Well. That's really fun. I did. A, I do appreciate you guys uh, playing along with me with this goofy little craft, but it, I mean, it's just kind of fun to do it every once in a while. So well, what's on tap for next week? Karen? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what <laughs> watch, next week watch is. Monday morning, watch Monday morning. And I might have some, or perhaps fun. Monday afternoon. I was actually going through my, my, my cupboard here of all the projects that I was working on and working towards and it's hard because some of the projects I want to do with you you need specific things right and it's like part of me wants to send them to you so that you can do it along with me so what did you really like and take, want to take a deeper dive into yeah there are things that we could repeat and do again if you wanted to try some of that again you know um Karen I'm just looking here Oh yeah, deeper here. dive. I did an interesting um, project. I, I, I took that um, Louise Fletcher one week course, mm -hmm. the free course that she did, and she did kind of an interesting thing where you, um, well, we did them in sets of four, but you don't wouldn't have to do four. You could just do one, but they're ver they're pretty quick to do. Um, but you do a, an abstract and you for on each one, like you have limits. So you can only use three colors of paint plus black and white. Um, and then you need something to collage with, like some kind of collage paper. Mm -hmm. Um pencil, an ink pen, uh, charcoal or pastel, and then an oil pastel or crayon. And so what you do is you do two brush marks and then you do two marks with another tool, two lines in pencil, and it can be, you know, they can be any shape, but they just, you know, you, your your pencil touch down you make your whatever mark and then you lift it that's one mark okay yeah uh two lines or shapes in ink one charcoal mark two collage items two brush marks and then one mark with an oil pastel or crayon that's really cool so we could i could embellish on that a little bit because i like i don't want to make you guys go out and get pastels and charcoals and all that kind of stuff because I, I well the thing is is that. you can yeah yeah but I mean you don't have to use oil pastel you could use a crayon or you know like if you got you know just whatever you have yeah okay well let me see if I can come up with a fun little thing that we can do like that yeah yeah I went but my bubble paint, my bubbles for my bubble paint. Okay. I don't have any, didn't have any more bubble stuff. So I bought a wand. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I could use the wand, but I figured that's a good amount of bubble goop and we'll get it. It sure try. is. Yeah. I don't know if this is a good solution or a crap solution. Cost me $1.29. I figured it was worth trying it. Yeah. Okay. So that's on my list of things to do. Let me know how it goes. It's super messy. <laughs> I, I noticed. I watched. <laughs> I and I have ink, so I will definitely try ink rather yeah. than I, th I think I'll have to make sure I'm clothed entirely in black work clothes. Yeah. So that yeah, we'll have to see. Okay. Well, that's great. I will try and post something of what we're going to do. I will take uh, Elizabeth. I'll take that that idea and see if I can uh, see what I can pull together for that. Um, it yeah, is kind of fun doing I can, things. Uh, 
I can just take, I can take a, a picture of this and email it to you. Okay. That'd be great. I know and, that we've done things. I've done things before with, um, with kids where you do a, like a Picasso animal where you draw something and then you oh. turn your page and draw something and draw something and you end up with this weird little Picasso thing. Jody's done this. Oh too, yeah. That sounds fun um, too. It is kind of fun. So we could try something like that and, you know, sort of add it to, instead of having so many different materials to add on there, we could do that where you, okay, take it now, turn it and do a mark or something like that. It's sort mm -hmm. of play, right? That's kind of fun. I like that idea. Sort of like a direct mm -hmm. painting and then it's see play. what everybody comes up with. Cause everybody will do something different. Right. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So For sure. I, I, when I was watching your bubble thing, you had, you showed a piece that you had done in the past. You couldn't remember how you replicated it. And the bubbles, yeah. I think were gray and they looked a little marbleized inside of them. Yeah. So it's almost like there was some factor of oil involved in there because what it reminded me of was when you marble paper, you know, you do the, that technique for marble paper. So I was actually watching a video on, I, which I've done before. It's been a really long time, but I, I was watching a video of a guy doing it to see if I could find an element in it that might cause that, it's that, you know, it's that resist yeah. of your ink on the, on the surface of the water, but there's a number of steps and that's just what it reminded me of. It reminded yeah. me of oil on a surface. Like maybe it was the type of paint you used. Maybe you used an oil paint if that's even nope. possible. No, I didn't. I know that I used an ink and maybe it was the type of ink that I used or I don't know. I don't know how yeah, I got that beautiful it, marbling. I don't think that yep. I, an, anything with oil in it is going to work with, with the oh. soap because it'll emulsify. Yeah. The right. soap just pushes it away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, you know, it had, it hit the way it had dried. That's exactly what it reminded me of though. You know, when you see oil on a street in a puddle and it has yeah. that kind of pattern in it. Yeah. And I think, anyway. I don't, yeah, I don't quite know how I did it. <laughs> and that's why it's like, it's so long ago, but it was so neat. And I just, you know, I did it and then I wasn't sure what to do with it after that, because I get to that point where maybe I do something that's new. I just don't know how to becoify it. Yeah. Right. Is I got to make it sort of look more like my own and not that I just put a bunch of bubbles on a piece of paper. Oh, that reminds me too that the, those um, abstracts that I worked on this week, I used a piece of that bubble painting in my collage and I collaged it on there. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I took a bunch of mine and I cut them all up so they're ready for me to make into cards, but I haven't done oh, yeah. <laughs> either. So. But uh, cool. we'll get there. All right. Okay, you guys, thanks for joining me today. And I will send out uh, instructions on what we're going to do next week. And uh, yeah, I'm going through my, my bin of, of things to see what I can get organized. And we'll have some fun. All right. Sounds good. Right. Thanks, okay. Karen. See you later. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, good night. everyone.